Hello boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new review, this time we're reviewing the unfinished swan on the PS4. I started playing this game on, on the PS3 5 years ago but never finished it. I recently got the chance to play it again on the PS4 so why not give it another go and see if I can finally finish it. Anyway, it is time for a review. Monroe's mother has just died. She was a painter who never finished a painting where she had over 300 unfinished pieces. When Monroe is put into an orphanage, he's told that he's the only allowed to keep one of the pictures. He decides on his mother's favourite, the unfinished swan. When Monroe wakes up one night and finds that the swan is missing from the picture, he takes chase but somehow finds himself in a strange new world. It is then up to you to control Monroe as he makes his way through the new world and try and find the answers. The story is surprisingly very good for a game that is so short. At first the game is too simple to keep my attention for a long period. When you start to progress in the game and get to find out more about the story then you want to know more as well. You want to know where the swan is trying to take you and who created this new weird world. The game is beautiful in its own way. It isn't the best graphically but it makes, still makes you want to look at every little thing in order to find out more about the game. At first there's only two colours, white and black and even then you're only allowed to add black from your paintbrush. As you progress through the game the land starts to change as colours are added and it really makes you look at everything the game has got to offer. The game runs quite slowly and I think this is done to make the game last longer as it is really already quite short. At certain times throughout the game you do wish that you could go faster in order to progress through the boring paths but unfortunately you can't. The music is on a different level however, a lot of the time with short games like this the soundtrack is either fast paced or not focused on so it is pretty bad. This game is the exception to that rule, its soundtrack is simply breathtaking. You won't hear anything like this on an indie game for a long time. You can actually hear the intros being played which makes you want to go into the game even further so just so you can hear more of the music. This game costs £10 and at that price this game is not worth it, but it is on sale a lot, especially on the PSN market. And when it's on sale, yeah, give it a go, it has a good story and the style of music are fantastic. But remember, it is really short and it's like basically less than 2 hours. I would wait for it to go on sale before getting this, as it is a worthwhile game for you to play. I've been Aaron Morse and I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.